Hello guys, I'm gonna show you how to set up your main router connect to TP-Link C7 by LAN cable directly through the LAN port of the Huawei HG8245A through the LAN, no, sorry, not the LAN, but through the internet port from the TP-Link C7. After you plug in the LAN cable directly to the TP-Link C7 I'm gonna show you how to set up from the user interface of the TP-Link C7 Okay, I'm gonna show you about the user interface of AC1750 C7 wireless dual band gigabit router As you know, that C7 is next generation of the Wi-Fi which comes with the next generation Wi-Fi standard 802.11 AC 3 from faster than wireless and speed and delivering a combined wireless data transfer rate up to 1.75 gigabit per second with 1300 megabit per second wireless speed over the crystal clear 5 gigahertz network and 450 megabit per second over the 2.4 gigahertz band the RCC7, the superior, choice for the simplest HD streaming, online gaming, and other bandwidth intensive talks. Concurrent dual band connection for lag free work and entertainment, the RC7 operates over both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up your C7 directly connect to your main modem. In this video, you need to connect to TP-Link C7 directly from your SSID. This is SSID is going to show up as TP-Link CE44, which means this is a original SSID from the TP-Link C7. You need to connect, enter the password from the back of the TP-Link C7 device. After you connect, you will directly into this page from this URL and you need to log in into the user interface. In this case, you need to enter admin and admin. This is the basic password and username. In this video, you need quickly the setup menu and press next. You don't have to look around, just doing this and press next. Now, there are so many options here. You can choose both of the band or choose between one of them. Now, this is the setup for your wireless 2.4 GHz. You can change this original SSID from the TP-Link C7. Just type and create what SSID as you want. Anything. I'm gonna change it to the Dragon Tech which is this is SSID going to show up on the wireless option from my laptop from my computer so I'm gonna change the original password from the TBN C7 I'm gonna change it into the Dragon Tech 2 now you can directly press the next or click more advanced wireless setting here as you can see there are so many options here for 2.4 GHz band you can choose 11 BG mix or 11 BG and mix I prefer to choose this and channel width it is up to you, you want to choose 20 or 40 
but I prepared to do auto so I'm gonna change into auto and the channel there are so many channel here so there's 11 channel but as I know the best channel here this is 1 6 and 11 this is after you which one do you want to choose but I prepared three of them in my case I try so many tastes from 1 6 and 11 so I'm gonna choose 11 if you choose this you need to do some tests it's up to you try to choose one and test it and try to choose 6 test it and 11 test it now after you test three of them you're gonna make some conclusion which one better for you it's up to you I'm gonna press next and we're going to set up for wireless 5 gigahertz as I said before you can create your own network SSID for 5G so I'm gonna change into the Dragon Tech 5G I adding 5G for make simple and I'm gonna change the password into the Dragon Tech this is only for make it simple you can do more advanced wireless setting you can choose one of them because in my case from 36 to 48 my devices cannot detect the SSID for 5G so I'm not going to choose one of them I'm gonna choose from 149 to 161 because all the devices in my house in my office only can connect to this channel so I'm gonna choose the 161 because I already do some tests before it's up to you you want to choose which one better for you and I'm gonna click and press next after you're doing this you need to press reboot and wait until rebooting complete After the completing of the rebooting, now go to the, the wireless network option in your computer or your PC. As you can see, I already made some uh, new SSID. Now it's already connected to my PC. I'm going to admin and admin okay now after you do some quick setup just go to the network and choose one because as you can see before I try I'm, I was trying to directly connect from LAN port from my modem to the TP-Link C7 to the port 1 so you need to press the tag it's going to tell you what connection type you need to choose it is dynamic IP address now choose the dynamic IP address because we are directly connected to a router or modem that have been given from the your ISP you want to make the TP-Link C7 connect directly to 
fiber optic cable from your ISP and your ISP give you some user username and password you need to choose the triple P O E and input your username and password that's what a case if you have given from the your ISP and some username and password but today I'm not gonna show you setting then and after you choose the directly IP address and press save after you press save don't forget to reboot your TPDing C7 for best performance so I'm gonna reboot and after this complete everything done you can connect to your internet and enjoy now okay, thanks for watching I'm going to make a new video please subscribe to my channel and I'll be right back thank you so much for watching Bye.